I want to start off with with understanding and us doing a little bit of a structure uh, and understanding our own structure around money. So I'd love you just to get a pen and paper and let's just let's just get into this and let's look at this. The question that I have for you is, what is your ideal situation when it comes to your finances? And I just want you to think about that question. What is my ideal situation? And maybe just close your eyes before answering it. And when you think you've got it, I just want you to, to type in the ideal situation. Because I think it's very important. We're going to be doing um, the perceptual shift pattern today. Now things, but just, just feel into it right. And what's my ideal situation when it comes to my finances, when it comes to my money? How much do you make? How much time do you put in? What do you do? So here's the next question for those of you who have written this in or typed it down, whatever you've done. Why? Why do you want that? Why? Why do you want that? There's actually, there's actually only one correct answer. And that one correct answer is because that's what I want. Because that's what I choose to. And it's good. We got, we got one, one correct answer. One, one, and why do I say it's correct? Not because I'm trying to be critical, but because every other answer isn't just going for the goal. Does that make sense? It isn't just going for the thing. It's trying to have the thing for some other purpose, which isn't the thing. And what this actually says is you don't, the thing isn't enough. It, it has to have more than that. And so, so, and, and by the way, this was, this is what always used to happen to me is I always used to ha have this. So I want to make a million dollars and I wasn't okay just to say I want a million dollars because I want it. It was, and notice what you wrote. If you're the type of person that wrote in, uh, I want to make the money. And then I said, well, why? And you said, oh, because I'm going to help all these other people. Or I want to make, because I want to be free, because I want to do this. Just notice what's inherent in that answer. Does that make sense? Can you see that? So, you know, I won't put anyone's names onto this. So I want to help others who can't help themselves. Um, I want there to be a massive global healing, to feel free. You see? And so to create other, to, uh, to do other things. And so it's, a, it's an important situation for us to really understand this, this idea called negative goal setting, okay? And negative goal setting is a structure where the goal you think you have isn't actually the goal. You think that the goal is the, the million, but the goal is to, to, to do this or to do that. It's not just a pure goal. A pure goal is I want to win the Olympics because I want to win the Olympics. A negative goal is I need to prove this person that I'm right, so I'm going to go do it. Now, can you feel the, the different energies between those two? I just want to win it because I want to win. I play to win versus I've got to prove this person right. Which one's actually going to feel good? Which one's actually going to feel good? One, they might both still win it, right? But one wins, it goes, yeah, I did the thing that I wanted to do. Awesome. And my life continues. It carries on. Whereas the other goes... I'm going to win this to prove them right. They get there and they go, ha, ha, ha. And they realize that the other person didn't really care. Or I'm going to go win this to make you feel good, dad. Or I'm going to win this to, to show that I'm good enough in the world. And so they get the thing. And the truth is, is that when they, they arrive, they arrive at this thing. They, they are unable to actually, uh, you know, they're, they're unable to even enjoy it. And so they miss the journey because the whole journey is focused on this external outside thing. And so, so it's very interesting um, what comes up with those, those questions. And so, so let's go into it again. And, and let's, let's ask the question and, and really sink into it this time. Okay, we're going to really just ask, what is our ideal situation just for us, just because? And notice, before we do it, just notice how hard it is just to, just to go, what do I actually desire? 
not I want to make the million because society says a million is some substantial number or this or that. What is your true ideal average situation, ideal average day? What is that true situation for you that just feels so, so, so good? Okay. And so I want you just for a second, if it's okay, just to peel away any other expectations or any other things. And then let's just close our eyes and ask the question, what is my perfect financial situation? <laughs> 